Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ang po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagyagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Balanesuala FD Live. This is Teacher Rose Jimenez Boyore of my son Elementary School to discuss with you one of the pertinent lessons in Science Grade 5. And this is to... Identify the parts of an electric circuit. Let me give you some friendly reminders for you to observe as we go along to our lesson. First, feel free to use the comment box below for the interaction and relevant questions that you want to ask about the topic. Second, you may also write your name, school, and the name of your advisor for you to be recognized. Thirdly, ask questions in a polite manner. In addition to our lesson, let's take some trivia. Do you know that an electric circuit may be simple or complex? A simple circuit may consist of only four basic circuit parts. Simple circuits are used in such equipment as flashlights and lamps. A complex circuit contains hundreds or even thousands of circuit parts. Devices that use complex circuits include computers and televisions. To start the lesson, come and join with me. Feel the essence of the video clip. And as you listen, you may write important thoughts or ideas related to electricity. Clever you, you were able to write important words. Let us read the words. Follow after me. Ready, go. Say electric circuit. Series circuit. Parallel circuit. Battery or source. Wire, switch, bulb, or the load. Actually, there are two types of circuit. They are series and parallel. Bulbs that are connected one after the other in one chain is an example of series circuit. 
On the other hand, bulbs with different loops is a parallel circuit. But what we are going to tackle this morning, kids, are the parts of an electric circuit. To sharpen your analytical thinking, let's do this activity. It is called a word count. Line the words to mark your answer. Timer starts now. Let's find out if your answers are correct. The words found in the word hunt are switch, load, power, source, energy, electron, bulb. Electric and circuit. To know how much you have learned from the previous lesson, do this exciting activity. You may write your answer in the comment box below. Fill in the correct letter. To form a new word that will describe the parts of an electric circuit. If your answer is battery, you are impressive. If your answer is connecting wire, you are amazing. If your answer is bulb, you are intelligent. If your answer is switch, you are remarkable. If your answer is electric circuit, you are clever. This time, let's watch this, but be sure to answer the following questions after watching. You can write your answer in the comment section. And these are the questions. First, what is an electric circuit? Second, how does electricity flow in your appliances? Third, what are the parts of an electric circuit? I have here an illustration on how to make simple electrical circuit. What is electrical circuit? An electrical circuit allows electric current to flow through all the components and electricity is converted into other forms of energy such as light energy. So what components do we need to construct the circuit? The components we need are battery, connecting wires, switch, and the last component is the bulb, which is the load to convert electric current to light. So a simple electrical circuit consists of a power source, connecting wires, switch, and a simple load.
let us go back to the questions and let us see how brilliant you are in answering. What is an electric circuit? An electric circuit is a path where electric current flows. When electric current flows, electricity is produced. The electric current that flows from a circuit makes the bulbs light. How does electricity flow in your appliances? Two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. What are the parts of an electric circuit? The parts of an electric circuit are source or battery, connecting wire or conductor, load or the bulb, and the switch or controller. If you are able to answer the questions correctly, you are wonderful kids. I knew you are now enthusiastic and interested to learn more. To start with, let me describe and identify the parts of an electric circuit. Parts of an electric circuit. The picture shows an electric circuit. An electric circuit is a path where electric current flows. When electric current flows, Electricity is produced. This is the reason why we can use different appliances at home. These appliances help us to make our tasks simpler, easier, and faster. The electric current that flows from a circuit makes the bulbs light. An electric circuit has four main parts or components. They are source or battery. Second, connecting wire or conductor. Third, light bulb or load. Fourth, switch or a controller. The first component is the energy source, which is commonly a battery. The second part, the connecting wire or conductor in which the electrons flow. The wire must be a good conductor of electricity. They should be made of materials that will allow electric current to flow through it. The speed of the flowing electricity through the wire is called current. The third part is the load or the device or the bulb that converts electrical energy into another form of energy. Examples of loads are electrical device and appliances such as bulbs, ovens, and monitors. For a circuit to function, there should be no breaks in it, since electricity needs a continuous pathway to pass through. Cutting a wire, for example, breaks the circuit. An electrical device allows you to open or close a circuit. This device, called switch or controller, which is the fourth component of a circuit. Turning the lights on and off in your house is done by pressing the switches.
Let's proceed to one of the most challenging part of the lesson. What is the discussion? Let us answer then the following questions. What are the parts of an electric circuit? The parts of an electric circuit are source or battery, connecting wire or conductor, load or the bulb, switch or the controller. Which serves as the load? Energy source, connector of electric current. The bulb is considered the load. The battery is the source of energy. And the wire is the connector of electric current. Which controls the flow of electric current in a circuit? The switch controls the flow of electric current. This enables you to open or close the circuit. Describe the connections that made the bulb light up. The wire must be a good conductor of electricity. They should be made of materials that will allow electric current to flow through it. To give you a list of the important ideas discussed in the lesson, let us summarize. The path through which electric current flows is called electric circuit. It has four main parts like the battery or the load, which is the source of energy where the electrons come from. Second, the connecting wire or the conductor through which the electrons flow. Next is the load or the bulb that converts electrical energy into another form of energy. And lastly, the switch or the controller which opens or closes the circuit, thus controls the flow of the uh, electricity. We are almost done with our lesson. So uh, let me assess them. How far have you gone from the activities? You may write your answer in the comment box. Here is the direction. Label the electric circuit with its parts. Number one. It is the source of energy where the electrons come from. The correct answer is battery. Number two. It is the part through which the electrons flow. The correct answer is wire. Number three. It converts electrical energy into another form of energy. The correct answer is bulb or the load. And lastly, it opens and closes the circuit. The correct answer is switch. You are really amazing kids. You all got the correct answer. Well, I knew that there are still other things you wanted to know about the lesson. 
you may write your pertinent questions in the comment box. Timer starts now. I can see questions raised by a learner from my son elementary school and the question is why do you think the wire to be used should be insulated wires should be insulated to prevent the insulated wires current from coming into contact with other conductors and most importantly to protect the wiring from catching fire another question raised by a learner from my son elementary school as well and the question is What is meant by open circuit? An open circuit is an electrical circuit in which the continuity is broken so that the current does not flow. Let's apply what you have learned from today's lesson. For your assignment, try to create a model of an electric circuit at home with the guidance of your parents. This will serve as your performance task. For more concepts, you may keep in touch with your science teacher during your online discussion. That ends my lesson. Goodbye. See you next time.